hi everyone and welcome to this video which i'm very passionate about if you have a health goal or body goal that you really want to achieve but you don't know where to start you don't really want to be going on a diet then i am here for you i have done all of that i've been obsessed with body image and diets and clean eating all of that jazz and trust me it got me absolutely nowhere i want you to be able to see your goals whether that you want to tone up become stronger you know feel confident in your body whatever it might be i'll help you achieve it in a non-restrictive maintainable way so i've got eight tips for you that you should follow to help you see those results i've been wanting to do for a while now i didn't really feel qualified enough to give this information but now after learning a bit more and experiencing a lot more i feel like i'm ready and i just want to make a disclaimer i'm not yet a qualified personal trainer i am studying to be one i'm not a nutritionist or doctor of any thought i'm only 15. this is my advice but it is based on what i've been taught from the professionals i've got eight steps on how to start your health and fitness journey and also stick to it this is what i wish i knew i was just going to get straight into it Right, step number one is to ask yourself why you want to start this new journey of your life. What is your goal? Writing it down on a piece of paper really helps me stick to it and then I can look back on it. If I'm getting a bit lost, I can go back to my goal and know this is why I've started. This is what I want to achieve. Let's not get too crazy here. I started because I wanted to change my appearance. I wasn't happy with how I was looking. I felt really self-conscious. And I feel like lots of girls in their teenage years do feel this way sometimes. I was constantly comparing myself to other people around me. And then I decided, you know what? I'm sick of this. So I went to Instagram, found some health advice from very unqualified people. I just started doing the health stuff. And it was good at the start and then it became bad. But now, in a more healthier mindset i eat healthy and go to the gym and just enjoy this health and fitness lifestyle that i have i've got certain goals that i want to achieve such as getting on ninja warrior i want to feel confident in my body i don't necessarily want to have specific body goals i just i'm doing it for myself but we all have our reasons and i think it's just going to be really helpful for your future self if you just write it down so then you can look back on it Step number two is to get a diary and just write down absolutely everything. For me, I set up a little table um, of all the days in the week and what I know I've got planned, such as work, school, soccer training, soccer games, anything that I've got going on in my life, I'll write that down. And then around that, I'll think about what days I can meal prep, what days I can film. What day am I going to the gym? How many days? What am I doing? Am I doing a class? If you've got a calendar, that'd be good. I do not, so I just use a book. And I think it's just really good to have something to rely on and it would keep you held accountable and motivated to actually do those things. You'll be thanking yourself for it later. Get in contact with other people. Talk to your parents and be like, hey, I'm thinking I want to start living a little bit healthier. I maybe want to get a gym membership. Could I see what times work for you and if we could go together, if you could drop me off. It's a lot less stressful for yourself and then your parents are in the loop so they just know what's going on. Tip number three is to forget all of the diet terms such as cheat meals and bad foods and clean eating. We don't want any of that, alright? I even get asked by my friends if I'm going out and I get like Zambreros or sushi. They're like, oh Paris, is this your cheat meal? I don't do cheat meals. I don't think you should dedicate a day or a meal just to binge out. You should just be able to eat whatever you want all the time, but make healthy choices here and then. Because if you're restricting yourself and saying, oh, I really, really feel like just whatever takeout you like, you're constantly going to be thinking about it until you get it. So if you want to get it or make healthy version at home, I my burritos are so good. All of these clean eating diet terms, they're not maintainable. It's really just not a good mindset to have. These are all restrictive terms. And you know, you don't want to be wasting your whole day, week or month, just thinking about what you can't eat. Just go about your day, enjoy life. And when it comes to eating, you can just make some healthy choices and feel good about what you're eating. Not need to stress too much, but of course, make sure you're getting in some healthy foods too. So yeah, I just absolutely hate, 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 like diet terms. Tip number four, 
is to not wait for motivation to come to you because that's just going to come and go. You actually need to incorporate some self-discipline. My biggest advice to you is to just don't think about it. Do it. Not, this doesn't go for everything. Um, of course, some things you need to think about it. But when it comes to motivation, just don't overthink it. Do it. Get up from bed one morning early when the sun's up. Just roll out of bed. Get dressed. Put on your active wear so you're ready to go for a walk or go to the gym. And do it. Like, the only person stopping you is yourself. And if you are just constantly saying, Oh, I'm not motivated today. I'll be motivated tomorrow. I can guarantee you that it's just not going to work like that for the rest of your life. Sometimes you need to say, no, this day I plan to go to the gym. You've said it the night before, so you're actually going to do it. Tip number five is to make sure that you're eating enough. This can be such a big problem for people who want to start being healthy because they just think, you know, I need to eat less, exercise more. Especially as teenagers, you know, that's not really what you want. Um, I think you'll see the best results if you have a balance between your unhealthy foods and your healthy foods Definitely do not skip meals because then your body will go into starvation mode It will hold on to all of its um, fat and it will start Breaking down all of your carbs, but then also break down your protein as well and if you're at that point where it just You don't really know what you're doing with your food then maybe go see a nutritionist or dietitian that's what I'd recommend. I eat a really decent amount because I've had the guidance of a nutritionist and it has just changed my life. I got my period back. I gained a lot of muscle. I'm just so much happier with my body and now and my strength. When you eat enough, you'll be able to do better workouts. And lots of people say reduce your carbs. I say no, do not reduce your carbs. It's most likely going to leave you with not much energy and then you're not going to be able to see them results because you're just going to be wasting your time not performing at your best it also replenishes the muscles so then they can build up and your body will actually change if you're eating enough i hate when i just see people have a piece of fruit for lunch and then like nothing else for the rest of the school day i'm like honey what are you doing if you can't see yourself doing it in five years don't do it your health and fitness journey is a journey it's going to be a process you can't just see results in a week tip number six is to experiment with your workouts keep it interesting and be consistent i started off going to the gym doing classes and then once i got the hang of it i started to create my own workouts in the functional training area which was involved lots of medicine balls sled runs rope slams things with dumbbells and then i kind of got bored of that and i went up to the weights room and i was doing lots of weight workouts now I've combined them both. Some days I'll do weights and then some days I'll do functional. But I've got this new mindset where I want to be a ninja warrior. So I'm working on my grip strength and my fingers are blistery from yesterday. I've, I've got like all these lines on my knuckles. My hands cannot hold onto the bar. Like it is bad. So that's what I'm working on. But yeah, you got to find what type of workout or training style um, is best for you. Some people may like calisthenics, functional just even group sports, they might not even want to go to the gym. You might like running, walking. There's so many things, just experiment and then also be consistent. You don't want to go to the gym one day a month because you're not really going to see any results. Two or three times a week for me works and then around that I have got team sports and walking. You know, lots of different things. So just experiment and keep it fun and you won't get bored and then just completely avoid it altogether. Tip number seven is to surround yourself with people who inspire you and motivate you throughout your health journey. Don't waste your time hanging around negative people who aren't supportive of you. They're not going to help you achieve anything. You don't need negativity in your life. We're all going to have them people who we don't get along with and we don't like what they do. Take lessons from them, but do not waste your time with them. Find people who inspire you and you can bounce off of each other. You can help each other. Surround yourself with your inspirations, whether that be online or in person. I, yeah, I get really motivated and inspired by listening to podcasts so as you would know I really like Georgie Stevenson, <sighs> Sarah's Day and um, I don't know I'm still on the hunt for more I kind of just randomly listen to things here and there also the healthy hustler starting to like her too. Having a mentor or inspiration or idol that you can listen to or just take things from them is really important. I definitely didn't have that when I was starting off with my health from ever feeling a bit down or unmotivated or just lost and confused. 
there'll be one Instagram caption from one of them people that just gives me a whole other perspective or there'll be a podcast that really inspires me to do something new or just help me refocus and realize why I'm on this journey of mine and not to just get caught up in the small things. Maybe it's a coach in person, a personal trainer. They can help you stick to your goals, but also make it more interesting and motivating for you. You want to be surrounding yourself with people who you can actually learn from and you can teach them things and you can be inspired by them and just have an extra source of motivation. I think just having a role model is really great, especially if they have a qualification of some sort, then you know what they're telling you or teaching you is the facts and they're just going to help you become the best version of yourself tip number eight my last tip which is to prioritize sleep recover and hydrate you're not going to see any goals if you're not sleeping and you're not taking time to recover the biggest mistake i see people making is training seven days a week for about two weeks and then they're just like you know what can't do this anymore i don't get how people live this healthy lifestyle i'm dumb <sighs> people do not train seven days a week at the same intensity i train three times a week max at the gym and that would be a relatively high intensity and then after that it's just this low intensity steady state which is just walking or just going about my day-to-day -day life like you cannot train at a high intensity every single day because you will plateau and you'll get tired and sick of it. Your body needs to recover. When you're working out, your muscles are like torn. You really push yourself really hard and you're just going down here. But then you need that day and good night's sleep to get yourself back up to a level. But because you worked out, you're also going to be improving. So you're going to up a little bit higher. And then you go again, you work out and then you improve and you get a little bit higher. But if you're just working out, working out, working out, working out, working out, your performance is just going to keep going down and you're going to get tired. You're going to have no recovery. You're not going to really see any results. But when you allow that time to recover, you'll be getting back up there and you'll be seeing those results. Also, on recovery day, don't restrict your food just because you're not exercising. That is probably the prime time to be eating a lot because your muscles will be needing that energy from food to build and change. Don't rely on coffee and energy bars to get you throughout your day. You shouldn't need them. They should just be a sometimes thing. You can definitely live a healthy lifestyle without coffee and energy bars. They're just this glamorized supplement. Lots of fitness models promote, but you know, they're really not the make or break. That is all my tips for you guys, just for this topic. If you would like to see more of these sorts of videos, then please leave a comment below. I definitely love making them and I love helping you guys because I get lots of private messages, people telling me about their life and that they want to see results but they're too scared or they don't really know what to do, they don't know what to eat or how to start. So I hope this helped you guys. If it did, please give a like, a thumbs up as well and subscribe. also want to say a massive thank you to all for 600 subscribers. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so close to a thousand now. Like, it's so weird. I'm just so grateful for all of you who've been here for me like from the start and just helped me grow. It is a challenging thing putting these things out here, but you know, it's all worth it when I see the responses. So thank you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.